All right, uh, Dante Falcone here, uh, about to show project three. So I got together the um, brushless motor from the quadcopter pack. Um, I went ahead and just assembled the platform so that I would have something to rest it on. Um, it was a bit of a challenge figuring all this stuff out because I've never done anything like this before, but uh, I seem to have gotten through it. Uh, so we connected the brushless motor power cables to the battery, which I charged. Um, plug that in. Uh, and then on the receiver, uh, took a little bit of troubleshooting, but figured out that the thrust is on channel 3. So I plug that in there directly. And this is on now because it's connected to the battery. Uh, and then on the Arduino, uh, not too, a little bit troubleshooting, and it wasn't too difficult to get the uh, IR transmitter and receiver working. Uh, so I followed the handout for the class. Um, I figured out the resistor rating. So the transmitter uh, is pretty much the same as a regular LED as far as the hookup. So it was a 220 ohm resistor on a circuit, um, and I connected that to digital out pin 3, uh, and then a separate circuit, so I use the other side of the breadboard, is the receiver, uh, so I used the 10k ohm resistor that came with uh, the Arduino starter kit. I couldn't follow one of the guides said to use a 3k resistor, I didn't have one of those, so I, I used the, the 10k one through the digital pin, um, and that is connected to pin uh, two here. Um, on this setup I also use the Arduino wires for everything, so, or the um, shorter wires, so everything is nice and snug. Uh, the other projects, everything was kind of loose and I didn't really like that. Uh, so I use little tiny wires and they're very snug and they're not going to move. Even if I drop this thing, it seems to be okay. <laughs> um, so I got those transmitters working, I tested it out every time it goes by, an interrupt uh, is called. So we'll just look at the at the code real, real quick if we can see that. So I reused some Project 2 code, um, just because the, the guide said to use uh, an interrupt design. So I actually have two interrupts going. So I have an interrupt going once per second um, using the Arduino timer. And then I have another interrupt set up on digital pin 2, which is the receive pin there, uh, on the falling. So that's whenever the, the signal's falling. Uh, so then that, that also calls this interrupt IR interrupt function. That's one of my functions. Um, so in the interrupt function, I simply just increment a rotation counter, and I have commented out the hello, that's what I was using to test the um, that it was working. Um, so that was fun to wave my hand over it and it said hello every time. Um, and then the ISR, that's the per second timer, so I have also just have that incrementing a volatile um, unsigned int called signal period. Um, and I went ahead and just did an increment. Um, uh, I know it's never going to get called more than once before getting reset uh, in the loop, but, um, you know, in, in another scenario, it could there could be a chance where an interrupt was called multiple times before the signal was reset. So I, I do support that. Um, but like I said, it's not never going to happen on this project, but... Technically, if the signal period variable was more than one, it should still function correctly. So I just calculate the RPMs as the rotation count divided by the signal period. And so since it's always one, that's kind of a, a no-op there. But um, the interesting thing is that since there's two wings on the propeller, then the, the interrupts call once for each wing or each side of the thing. So two two counts equals one full rotation. So instead of 60 um, seconds equaling a, a minute for 
for that. Um, I do the rotation count times times 30 um, since there's two per. So I just divided it by two. Um, and then I just output the RPMs. Um, and so let's take a look at that working. So I uploaded that there. And we'll look at the uh, serial bus. Let me clear the output so it can start again. Zero, so that means we're waiting. So here's the uh, radio controller. So let me uh, put the power on there. All right, power's on. There's the fan going. And we're registering 1320. And we're increasing the speed, 1500. Increase it more. 1850, 2160. All right, that feels pretty fast for on top of my desk, so I think that's as, as high as I'm gonna go. So let's start slowing down. That's so just firing off once per second. All right. And now I will take that data and just throw it into a graph for the project uh, report. And that is all. Thank you.